Welcome back into the racing game series of the version 2 and uh, before we do anything into this game I just want to thank each and every one of you who helped me reach 5,000 subscribers. I hope I'm doing a great job of teaching you these videos and that's it I don't know what else to say. I am really really thankful. So another thing that I'm proud of to show is this vehicle setup. So this is what we started building the last episode and what we had is a very simple car holder and a way of adding this rigid body component. So in between episodes what I did is I made it a little bit more advanced and now it's a little bit harder to crash. This is where you should be able to download it in the video description and this is how it looks like. So the way it works is that you have these run checks. So for now we can't run any checks because the car object is missing. So we're gonna pass in a car object right here and now if we run checks we found the car, we found the wheels and we can mess around with the wheels. So now the status says that the wheel reference is null. Let's fill up the wheel reference with a temporary prefab right here and now if we run checks it should say ready. So this is kind of similar to some of you who are following my channel and this is how we set up a car into the last series so the difference now is that it says that what you're doing wrong in here and it also has a different way of adding a rear wheel so you just hit this checkbox in here and now it lets you add a rear wheel so what you can do is you can delete the wheels completely and they're gone and um, if you choose to use one wheel, we can create all four of the same wheel, as we can see in here. The rear one is a little bit smaller now. However, we can do anything with those wheels. What we can do is also delete wheels, recheck this, and create the wheels again. So now it's all nice and well. However, you might have a brand new car in here that has none of these values. So that's what we're going to check right now. So don't forget to close this tab before you do any of these actions. So we're going to close the tab. I'm going to bring a new car in here. Okay, so now that I got a brand new car in here, let's bring up the vehicle manager right here. And let's put the GTR into this car slot. So now we can run checks. And now the first thing that it says is create colliders. So let's create colliders. It should create four colliders in the same spot as we can see in here and now it says the status wheel reference is missing so let's quickly create a wheel reference let's just take this wheel for now from here let's make it a prefab in here and the prefab should be the scale of one 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 and the rotations should also be at zero 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 and zero however the child object can be at the scale of 100 or maybe you want to do another scale. So this is how the wheel prefab should look like. Nothing special. And then after you do that, you, you just bring it into the wheel prefab. And now we can create the wheels. So don't forget to delete the wheel from here. And now we can create the wheels. And here are our four wheels. So after you do that, you just want to position those to whatever you want, like this. So here is how simple it works. Here is the code. It's very, very messy, but it works perfectly, perfectly fine. So you can download this code down in the video description if you want to. It's very handy. It's very nice. It helps you build the car in literally just minutes. And the cool thing is that after you're done building it, don't forget to resize your radius. And the cool thing about this is that after you build it, you only need a very simple car collider. So just add a component of box collider right here. Maybe you want to shape it a little bit like this. And the cool thing about this is that after you close the tab, what you can do is take this prefab. What you can do is simply just hit play and this should fall into its wheels. There we go. So it works perfectly fine as we can see. You can just do this and it works just like a normal car. Okay. So... Okay, so the next thing that we're going to try and build is a very simple car controller. So it, it can, so it controls the wheels and we can drive around in it. So let's go into the script. Let's create a car controller script and let's open it up. So um, 
what do we need to control a car? So first of all, we need four wheels. So let's create public wheel collider, array of wheel colliders, and wheel colliders. And we need a update method. So let's create a update method. So what do we want to do? Well, first we want to use all of these four wheels. So we want to say four, simple for loop, length is obviously wheel colliders dot length. And what do we want to do in here? Well, first we want to say if input dot get axes vertical is equal to one, then we want to tell all of these wheel colliders to accelerate. So we want to say wheel collider in the index of I dot motor torque is equal to 10. And we want to say times maybe we want to say torque. So we don't have torque yet. Let's create torque up here, public float torque is equal to 100. So that's one way of saying it. However, we can just copy this input axis vertical from here. And instead of 10, we want we can pass in vertical. So now we don't need a if statement. And there we go. Now we're adding torque. So let's close that up. And let's drop the car controller into our car. Here we go. Now we have four wheels. Let's create four wheels in here. And let's go ahead and drop those wheels. So here is the wheels. And there we go. Now if we go ahead and hit play, we should be able to drive the car. There we go. Okay, now we have a problem that the wheels are not turning. Let's fix that before we close this video up. So let's create another public transform array of transforms. And let's say wheel transforms. This will also be a array of four elements. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to create a new method. And we are going to simply copy it from here. So here is the update wheels method. I'm just going to copy it, just going to paste it down here, and I'm not going to forget to run it at update. So the wheel colliders are obviously the wheel colliders and the wheel rotation is missing, as we can see, because that is a temporary value. Those values are these two, the vector three and the quaternion. So let's quickly build those up here. And now the errors should run away. And we have the car wheels, which are the car transforms or the wheel transforms. So let's say wheel transforms. And now we should be able to move our wheels around. So let's go back into our game. Let's see, we have a new transform, a new array in here of four elements. Let's not forget to drop all the four elements in here like this. And now if we hit play, we should see our wheels turning as we can see in here. Let's quickly focus up on the wheels and let's see if they actually turn. So for now, it's turning a little bit slow. Let's fix that by adding some more torque. And now it has way too much torque. Okay, we're, we're moving way too fast. Okay, so let's wrap up this video in here. And I feel like I've talked too much. I'm really thankful for hitting 5000 subscribers. Again, I don't know what to say. And uh, we'll see in the next video. Thank you.